everyone and welcome to our Derek Schiffer finance and operation module wise training series. So in the previous episode we discussed about some mandatory setups in the product information management parameter. If you don't watch the previous episode go back and watch the previous episode and then come back and watch our new episode. So in this episode we focus about the product dimension, storage dimension and the tracking dimension what are they and how to set that in the product information management module so we start with the product dimension group in the Shifa ERP product have two types one is a product and another is a product master so when we create a product master then product dimension group is a mandatory setup so what is a product master let me share with the example product information management go to all product product masters Let's take an example of the t-shirt. When I create a new t-shirt in the system, then I create this as a product master. Because the t-shirt has a different colors, different sizes and the different style. So the product master have some additional dimension like color, size, style, configuration like this. So now I'll go to the product dimension. You can check for the t-shirt we have three dimensions, size, styles and color. I'll also show you when I create product or product product masters click on the new you can see when I change the product subtype to the product master we have uh, some additional information to fill so the next one is product dimension group in the product master assigning product dimension group is a mandatory setup so let's create the product dimension group first product information management Set setups we have dimension variant group inside dim dimension and variant group we we'll select the product dimension group here we see the existing product dimensions so let's create a new one Now I'll save this our new product dimension here. Yeah. So here I want to enable the size, color and style. Currently I don't need a configuration so I'll disable this one. I will save. In the next you can see there is an active tab. We have activated all three dimension. The next two column is a purchase price and for the sale price. So we have detailed video in the future episode but the quickly summary of this is uh, in the directify finance and operation we have concept of trade agreement where you can set the pricing for the purchase and sell for the item so if you want to set up the trade agreement based on the product dimension group for this we need to enable this both the tab one is for the purchase and the second one is the for the sale for example if you have different dimension like different color have a different purchase price and the sales price then this time you need to enable this parameter for the color so I have created this product dimension which I will use in the next our future episodes so the next setup is storage dimension group let's I'll go to the storage dimension go to product information management setups dimension variant storage dimension group so this form is a shared form so you can see a lot of data which came from the all legal entities so in directory 5 we have site warehouse and location let me share so for example I live in India so I'll have categorized India as a site site is a always geographical location and it's non tangible thing so India is a geographical location and it's non tangible so we consider this as a site so India site have a multiple warehouse right right east west north south so those warehouse will name it as a warehouse 1 warehouse 2 warehouse 3 and warehouse 4 and so on like so the warehouse is assigned to the site so in the system we have at least one site so when I create a new storage dimension here
will save this you can see site and warehouse is active by default because in the system we have at least have one warehouse and one site so even I try to check this system will not allow me because the site and warehouse is a mandatory setup so inside warehouse like uh, like physical building you have racks aisles shelves uh, bins those are called as a storage location so in order to track any high value item with the site warehouse and location then you want to know which rack which ally or which shelf or which bin you have been stored that so you need to turn on the location as well if I create any product then it's mandatory to assign this storage dimension for the product even it's the product or product master it's a mandatory to assign this if I create product or product master and assign this product dimension to that product then we need to track this product by site warehouse and location if I want to receive this item in the purchase order the purchase order document we need to specify the site warehouse and location then only I'll go ahead and process this purchase order and for the inventory status and the license plate this will be used in the advanced warehouse management so when we talk about the advanced warehouse management we will uh, we deeply talk about this topic so let's say I'm again enable this location as I said this product is now tracked with the site warehouse and location now I'm planning to receive this item from the supplier using the purchase order in the purchase order I need to mention what is the site what is the warehouse and what is the location only then system will allow me to receive the item system will go and store the product for the specific location but now en enable the blank receipt allowed for the location it means that in the purchase order if I not mention any location then even system allow me to receive the and store it for the random location if a blank received allow is check then it's not mandatory to mention the location while receiving the item similarly for the blank issue allowed when you call for the receive which means that it's for the pur purchase order and when you call as for an issue which means that it is for sales side so when you create a sales order in the normal condition you need to mention site warehouse and location to detect the item and to inventory to the customer if you mention all three then system allow us to post the packing slip and deliver item to the customer but if blank issue allowed is check then no need to mention the location only site and warehouse will be used and it will automatically detected from the random locations so that's the use of blank issue allow and blank received allow now for the physical inventory let's say you want to track a uh, physical inventory up to site warehouse and the location then you need to tick all of three as a physical track you need to make sure that a physical inventory is active whatever the parameter is active over here if it's not active then you might find some disc discrepancy in the system for the financial inventory in the FNO ERP or any other ERP we have two inventory one is a physical inventory and another one is a financial inventory let's say you buy some stock then it's not only affect the physical inventory but also affect the financial inventory that is weighted average cost of the financial inventory get increased and the inventory cost prices will be also affected when you purchase a stock let's say I'm tracking the financial inventory on the site level I'll explain you with the example now I'm buying the item for Ibsen printer for $500 for the warehouse 1 and $400 for the warehouse 2 maybe the warehouse 2 is closest to the vendor so the prices for the same product is less for the warehouse 2 now the financial inventory is track on the site level then the weighted average cost for the both to warehouse is a $450 now I am transferring the item from the warehouse 2 to the warehouse 1 or warehouse 1 to the warehouse 2 then a weighted average will remain same it will not change but in the second case the financial inventory is tracked on the warehouse level not on the site level so now I transfer the item from one warehouse to the another warehouse then we find some financial impact the posting the financial entry happen in the GL book in this case so this because the financial inventory is tracked in the warehouse level so every warehouse have a different cost prices in this case 
the future episode we will properly explain that in the purchase order process next is a coverage plan coverage plan we will discuss in the master planning the purchase price and the sales price it is similar what we discuss in the product dimension by enabling this we can set the different purchase prices and sales prices for the item the warehouse level or the site level we will enable this when we create a trade agreement in the future so this will basic overview of the storage dimension now we move to the tracking dimension so tracking dimension is also mandatory setup to track the product tracking dimension is used when you track the product for the serial number or batch number then you need to activate the relevant dimension over here so let's i create one dimension or the serial one okay so let's take an example of the printer we want to track the printer based on the serial number then i activate the serial number tracking dimension save this and assign this tracking dimension to that printer to track that printer on the serial number level if you want to use the serial number only for the sales process but not for the purchase at the time of purchase then you activate the sales button which will allow you to use the serial number only at the time of sale similarly for the blank received allow and blank issue allow the system will allow you to uh, without entering the serial number for the purchase and for the same for the sales if you enable this parameter for the blank receipt allow and you have not enter any serial number at the time of purchase system will allow you because you have check this blank receipt allow same for the blank issue allow if you en enable this button system will allow you without entering the serial number to sell that item for the physical inventory i'll again recommended that physical inventory must be tracked if you enable this parameter for the serial number you need to make sure that your ch checkbox is checked for the physical inventory for the financial inventory item cost price of that item is tracked based on the serial number level by enabling this your system will allow inventory costing based on the serial number level similarly for the purchase and sell if you check this for the purchase you can set the prices of the product at the time of receiving based on the serial number level same for the sell if you check this box you can set the prices of the product based on their serial number next is the owner owner is a new tracking dimension it is related to the consignment warehouse consignment warehouse means inventory of your supplier or vendor will maintain in your site inventory of your supplier is physically located in your site when you have sales or any potential customer then only you can consume from your consignment warehouse when you want to consignment warehouse setup then you need that time you need to enable this parameter for every time you need you want a unique serial number means the serial number you don't want to repeat for any product then you need to enable this parameter and other setups are like capturing serial number here we can set the pick and packing which means that the serial number we can enter at the time of packing slip generating packing slip or generating picking slip this thing will be deeply discuss in the future episode at the time we creating a purchase order or the sales order so in this episode we'll discuss about the product dimensions storage dimensions and the tracking dimension now what is the size color and style as we discuss in the product dimensions product has a color style size that color size and style we have mentioned in over here under each you find some default values provided by the microsoft but you can add your own values also similarly for the size group color group and the style group for example we will take a color group you can create a group of color like you add a group of color over here and directly assign this group to that product similarly for the size and the style so that's it for the video in the next episode we will discuss about the category and the attribute so stay tuned with this and thank you for watching